What's up, freaks? Steve Eckert here from Peak Physique Personal Training Bootcamp Boxing from The Project. Here with Steve Says, episode number 84. This week, we're going to talk about work-life balance. A lot, of, I hear it all the time. I get questions all the time, both in emails, in my private messages, in the interview calls that we do for The Project, with private coaching clients. We talk about it all the freaking time. Work-life balance. I'm so stressed. I have so much anxiety. I just can't keep things balanced. And we're going to talk about today. We're going to do a deep dive and bite this shit in the ass for the new year. And as you know, Steve says, this is not always what you want to hear, but it's going to be what you need to hear in different areas of your life. Because some people will hate, but most can relate. We are going to be bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. That's just how we roll. And that's the way it's going to be. So I want to ask you a few questions to start this off. Do you have work-life balance in your life? Do you have work-life balance in this new year? The calendar switched, the calendar flipped. So do you have that work-life balance? And then just speaking of this year, what is going to be your theme? I want you to come up with a theme for this year coming up. And we'll go over what mine is and, and we kind of went over that last week also. But what's your theme going to be for 2021? Your personal theme. As I'm giving you a chance to get logged in here, if you have any questions, comments, you have several screens around here, literally four different screens. So just put a question, comment, join the conversation in the comments there, and let's talk about it. But as you know, Steve Says is a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset, guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your fitness, your family, your health, your finances, and it's, this is so that you can get your shit together, stop being a little bitch, and start living life on your own freaking terms. And it all starts with your mind, then your body, and it's going to bleed over into your business when it comes to your own personal development. It's about having a role model mindset, how to operate with discipline, energy, confidence, action, and being your freak self. That's what Steve Says is all about. And again, this week, we're talking about Work-life balance. How much work-life balance do you have? And they talk about it all the time. And we're going to start off like this. Before we get going. I'll tell you this. Balance is fucking bullshit. Okay? Straightforward, just like that. Balance is bullshit. We'll get to that in a second. I'll explain what I mean by that. Because work-life balance, all this stuff all the time, right? Balance is bullshit. It doesn't exist. And I'm going to tell you what you need to be thinking. How you need to switch And reframe your thoughts when it comes to your work-life balance that everyone's in search of. But first, I want to talk about your theme for the year. If you watched Steve Says episode last week, episode number 83, I pretty much gave you my theme of the year. And it's shut up. Shut up. This says man up. What what does it say in the the movie? Shut the fuck up. Shut up or nut up or something like that in in Zombieland. If you ever saw Zombieland, you're missing out. You got to go see Zombieland part one and two, I think says nut up or shut up and right here it says man up or it's on facebook and instagrams they show up backwards so it says poo nam that's after the book right here bedros coolian book man up if you could see that yeah you can all right so the theme and i get i gotta get it set up shut up is the theme of the year meaning shut the fuck up and create stuff shut up and and connect with more people stop talking about stuff stop being a talker be a doer Stop trying and do. Stop planning and do. Just shut up and about what a, what a a strong person is and what personal development is and what growth is. Shut up about it and go do it. Go show it. Go be it. Go live it. Go embody it. That's what you need to be doing. Shut up. That was the theme last, of, of last week's episode and technically the theme of the year. Now, the underlying theme of every year and really every episode of Steve says is discipline. The big old D word. Giving you the big D. Discipline. That should be your underlying bedrock, your foundation of your theme should be discipline. And from there, it's to have the discipline for me is then to shut up and to have other people shut up. And that was last week, right? So start with discipline for yourself. And every episode can always come back to just discipline. So make, make it discipline day every day. That's the way you need to think about it. All right. So that's the theme of the year. I want to put in the comments, what is the, your personal theme going to be of the year? Your theme should always be underlying of discipline and personal development. But what's your personal theme? As I just told you, mine is. I want to hear what it is. 
See what you have to say about that. And we're going to go more into some discipline in a second. Because we're always talking about discipline. Really, that's what Steve says is all about. It's fucking discipline in all areas of your life. And today we're going to talk about having discipline in the work. I don't even know what it is. Work life, work life balance. How do they say work life balance or something? I don't even know what they call it. What do they even fucking call it? Yeah, the work life balance, right? We're going to talk about discipline in your work life balance and where you're falling short. If you don't have work life balance or whatever the fuck work life balance is, everyone wants it. Nobody knows what it is. No one can even define it, but they want it. Like, don't, don't be the, the person who goes and just works all day, all night, stays out late, which then causes you to eat shit, sleep like shit. Your family hates you. Your kids don't even fucking know you. They have some doofus on YouTube raising them or some fucking rapper or dumbass athlete who, who thinks that they, they're, they're, what they have to say fucking matters. And that's who they have, you have raising your kids. If you're on the extreme end of the spectrum on the work side. Now let's talk about the life side, whatever. I don't even know. I don't even know the life. Why is it work life balance? Because isn't life like work part of your life? If anything, it should be personal, professional life balance, if anything. But balance is bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. We're going to get into it. Balance is for bitches. Balance is for people who just bitch and look for an excuse for why they're underperforming at work. They say, oh, I just can't get down the work life balance. Or they're underperforming at home. They say, oh, I can't get the work life balance down. It's a fucking excuse. It's lack of discipline and it's a fucking excuse. Literally, every episode of Steve Says can be just summed up. I could just come on here and say, it's a lack of discipline, it's fucking excuses, the end, let's go to episode number, episode number 85 next week. Because that's all everything comes down to, seriously. Is either discipline or lack of discipline. The decision to have discipline or the decision to have not have discipline. The decision to make shit happen or the decision to make fucking excuses. Make shit happen or make excuses. Which one? So that balance, that work-life balance, it's bullshit. But anyway, the other end of the spectrum is you were poor little Johnny that was neglected as a child. So now you have some kids of your own. So what you're going to do is just work some unfulfilling job where you just work, you just show up and you just collect a paycheck and you just live week to week and paycheck to paycheck because you want to spend all the time with little Johnny and you want to wipe the little boogies from his nose when he's fucking 16 years old and probably still let him, let him, he's sleeping in the bed with you and your partner or you and your goat or whatever the fuck you have and he still has a babysitter. He's probably sucking on mommy's titty still in, as a teenager because you're on the other extreme end of the spectrum of the work-life balance. Fucking balance. I love doing those quotation marks. You feel like such a douchebag when you do it, right? I love doing it. It's funny. Anyway, th- th- those are the two extremes. So I assume when people say they want work-life balance, they want to be somewhere in the middle. But even somewhere in the middle, think about that. Balance. To me, balance means fucking average. Like, why would I- you don't want to be that, that extreme ass here. You don't want to be that extreme, like, overbearing uh, pers- personal life person here, all needy and all this other stuff and all that bullshit. So I'm assuming balance would be like right there in the center, right? And to me, balance means average. To me, balance means fucking mediocre. It means ordinary. It means basic. Bal- balance to me is just a basic bitch. That's what it is. Like, why would you want to just be balanced and basic and fuck that? Fuck that. And we're going to go into how to go about that and how to, how to, how to navigate that and, and not go to either extreme, but not be that just average, ordinary, basic bitch. That's what we're going to talk about. Balance is bullshit. It doesn't exist because everyone's been searching for it forever. And anyone who claims they have it is full of shit. There's no such thing as balance. I'm going to tell you what it, it, what it should be replaced with, what your mind frame should be replacing it with. But let's just go back a little bit. Let's go back a little bit. So this, this year, Because people don't have that work-life balance, right? Because they never have enough time to work out. They never have enough time to read. They don't have enough time to... They're they're too busy at work, so they can't take little Johnny to his Little League baseball game or to karate practice. They don't have time to work on their own personal development or they don't have time or they don't have whatever to go go to a, a workshop, a seminar. They don't have time to start that business. They don't have time to learn that new language. They don't have time to learn those new fucking skills. But let me tell you, in these last nine months, you've had a lot of fucking time with all the bullshit that's been going on and shit closed down and face diapers and all that, all this other stuff going on, right? You had plenty of time. 
So if you haven't just at least started and gotten deep into all those things in the last nine, ten months, almost a fucking year, think about it, almost a year. You know how much shit you could have done in a year? You know how much shit I get done in a weekend? By not thinking about balance, by thinking about what we're going to go into in a second. How much you can get done in such a short amount of time? You've had a fucking year. So if you haven't done all that stuff that you've been claiming for the last fucking decade that you don't have time for, guess what? You've been exposed as a fucking fraud. You've been exposed as a fucking bullshitter that just makes excuses. And you've been using this work-life balance struggle thing as an excuse. Because, oh, now I have to work from home and the kids are doing school from home and the balance, I just can't balance it all. Okay, I'll go back to my theme. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Go back to the theme of the year, because it fits. It fits perfect. Shut up. Stop making excuses. Stop looking for balance. Stop trying to be ordinary. Stop being average. Stop doing the bare minimum. Stop doing shit that's unfulfilling to you. Stop doing shit that's not making an impact. Because then again, again, you know you're going and wasting so much time doing so much other stupid shit. And we're going to get to that in in a second. So as with anything else... It comes down to discipline. I've given you my definition of discipline many times, but it's worth going over again. You need to have discipline physically. You need to have discipline mentally. Discipline emotionally. And we're going to go into a lot of this stuff. You need to have discipline as in having structure and control of your time and of your day and of your thoughts and of your fucking emotions. You need to have a strategy. You need to not crumble under pressure. The discipline to not fucking crumble. The discipline to hold the fucking line. The discipline... The discipline... To maintain your integrity in all situations, no matter who the fuck is watching. And again, discipline to have mental toughness through all this crazy time. Not work-life balance. Mental fucking toughness. To me, that's almost the closest thing to work-life balance. It'd be mental toughness. Having emotional discipline and emotional resiliency. We've gone over that in the past. We're not going to go deep into those again. We could, we'll do a whole separate episode on emotional discipline and emotional resiliency. You need to have, but you need to have discipline to, to trust the process. Discipline to be committed and consistent in your fucking actions and in your effort and your intensity. That's what you need to be th- thinking. Because let me tell you about work-life balance. The path to your... And I'm only going to use work-life balance as in the, the general thought of it. Although I don't fucking believe in it. But I'm going to use it just so you can get where I'm coming from. The path to work-life balance is to not have work-life balance until... You have work-life balance. Yeah, that's a fucking tongue twister. Makes sense in my head. If it makes sense to you, you're one of my people. You're the kind of people that we attract for this show. You're the kind of people we attract for the project. You're the kind of person we attract to Peak Physique, personal training, boot camp, and boxing, virtual live online sessions. You're the kind of person that I attract to be a one-on-one coaching client, a high-level coaching client, if you understand what that means. The path to work-life balance is to not have a work-life balance until you can have work-life balance. Yeah, that's a, that doesn't even make sense. Makes sense to me. And I'm going to tell you how and why. Because here's the problem. You are going either all in on one, or you're going all in on the other, or if you're stuck in the middle, you're half-assing both of them. Work-life balance is basically saying, I'm going to make the decision to fucking half-ass my career, or my business, or my job, And I want to make the decision to half-ass my family and my kids and my personal relationships and my personal life. I'm going to half-ass professionally. I'm going to half-ass personally because I need balance. Balance. Fuck balance. Balance is for bitches. Yes, I said it. Whatever. All right. Work, life. Don't think work, life, balance. I want you to think. Think of work, life, control. Think of work, life, intention. Think of work, life, presence. Think of, this is my, the, what I really think is the, the main things for me that replaces work-life balance is work-life trajectory. Think of trajectory, the direction you're going. Stop searching for the work-life balance. It's bullshit. And here's the problem why you're not getting where you want to get if you're not. Why you're not successful as you want to be or you're not getting the, the fitness results you want to get or you're not making as money as much you want to make. You, you, you might have heard the secret, right? Your, your thoughts and the way you think and your self-talk will automatically lead you to take the actions that are going to lead towards what you're thinking about and what you're really truly believing in. If you're a true believer and it's leading you towards that automatically, your life's going to automatically steer you into those directions if you're constantly having those affirmations, whatever, whatever, whatever. And let me tell you, there's something to that. There's something to the universe. The universe out there knows. But if you're thinking, all right, I want work-life balance. 
right? I, I'm going to half-ass the career. I'm going to half-ass this. I want to be in the middle. I want to be average and mediocre. But I really wish I had money. I really wish my family liked me. The way I'll make them that both work is to have a balance and half-ass and be fucking mediocre at both. You know what you're doing? The universe ain't, is not sending you what the fuck you want because you want your work-life balance. You're confusing the shit out of the universe. The universe is confused. The universe doesn't know what the fuck is going on. The universe is like, wait a minute, you want to make money? You want to time with the kids? You want to be in the middle? You don't want to do either? You want to suck at both? You want to be fucking average? Universe, you've, you've confused the fucking universe. Congratulations, your work-life balance has fucking backfired. That's what it's done. It's making you either be broke, making your family hate you, or if you have that work-life balance, it's fucking doing both, probably. Think trajectory. Think intention. I want to choose the word trajectory because to me, trajectory means intention. It means presence. It means control. Trajectory. Listen, velocity doesn't fucking matter how fast you're going. If you're fucking going full speed, but in the wrong direction, or full speed and you're headed off the fucking cliff and you're going to splat like a fucking dumbass pancake on the ground, the speed, the velocity that you're going doesn't matter. The fucking trajectory does. And the trajectory is based on your intention. Where do you want to go? What direction are you trying to go in? And being present enough and having enough awareness to know what direction that is and know not to go full speed off a fucking cliff. Trajectory. That's what it is. So how do you do this stuff? You don't, you, you, you don't, you want to have it all. And let me tell you, you can fucking have it all. You can have it all. You can make shitloads of money. And still, still spend tons of time with your kids. You can be successful and start your own business and your own career from scratch. And still not have to make your family fucking hate you. You don't have to have average in both. Because, and, and this is a, a, a little cheesier way of saying it. But it's not about the quality or the quantity of the time. Which is not about the velocity or the quantity. It's about the trajectory and the quality. That's what it is. Create quality. Don't create quantity. And if you do it for fucking good enough, and if you're, you know, you know my saying, if you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. If you're always on your fucking A game, guess what? Eventually, eventually, if you focus on trajectory and quality over velocity and quantity, guess what? Eventually, you're going to have trajectory, you're going to have quality, and you're going to have fucking quantity. And I'm even going to go over a how to do that. And it starts with always being on your fucking A game. If you're always on your A game, you never have to get in your A game. Years ago, when I used to teach in person in New York, the uh, free boxing class every single Thursday. And we still do free boxing every Thursday live on Facebook. Today is Tuesday. Every Thursday, 3.15 p.m. Pacific, 6.15 p.m. Eastern, a full free hour-long boxing training session. We've still been doing it for over 12 years now. 12, I don't even know how long, 12, 13 years now, every single Thursday. Free this week again. But when I used to do it in person back in New York, I had a a personal training client, a one-on-one personal training client with a school teacher. He told me one of the high, whatever, one of the high administrators or something in the whole education system was coming in to try the free boxing class today. So make sure that you really make it a good workout. Make it a good class. I said, listen, partner, barking up the wrong fucking tree. You don't got to tell me that shit. Because if you're always on your A game, you have to to get on your A game. I'm going to bring the fucking fire every single time. Whether it's one person, whether it's a million people. Whether it's Mikey down the street or fucking Michael Jackson or Mike Tyson or Mike Jordan or fucking Gandhi shows up. I'm going to bring the fucking fire. And be prepared. And be disciplined to always be on your A game so you never have to get on your A game. So it doesn't matter who is there. You need to service every single person the same fucking way. That's trajectory. That's intention. That's awareness. That's quality. And you do that enough, it's going to lead to quality and quantity being together, the same thing. Quality and quantity being combined. Because the quality is going to lead to quantity. And the more quality, quantity is going to be able to give you, be able to give a, a more quality product, more quality service. So think about it. Trajectory over the velocity. Now, how do we put this all together and make it happen? It's so fucking easy. You probably, let me even pull this up. Time blocking. Time blocking, I use fucking color codes and all kinds of shit. Let me pull up a day here. Turn to here so you can see the whole thing. I don't know if I can make this any smaller. Here's my day tomorrow. You can see it's 
That's every hour of the day, and there are white and gray spaces in there. You're damn right there is. You don't want any empty spots on your calendar because it gets you in trouble. You go to your vices, you waste time, and you do all this other stuff. But I'm going to go into what you should be doing with those and how to time block that. So time blocking, it's so easy. I could tell you everything I'm doing every hour of the day, freaking two weeks from now on Tuesday, what I'll be doing at what time, what business I'll be working on, what exactly will I be doing? Because it's going back to discipline, structure, preparation. So I don't always, ha- I don't have to think about, oh my God, there's a high person executive going to be in my group today. Fuck that. I'm going to be on that all the time because of preparation. That leads to confidence. That leads you taking action. At least you'll be able to just focus on being yourself and fucking natural. That's what it leads to. Having the discipline, bringing the energy, having confidence to, to, to then let you take the actions you need without even having to think about it, become an automatic. So you could focus, then you could just be yourself. Don't have to try to be something else, try to impress someone, try to do something different. If you're always on your fucking A game, you never have to get on your A game. Time block it. So I'll time block time for meditation. I'll time block time for journaling. I'll time block time for recovery throughout the day. Fucking recovery. Where it's time to do nothing. I could, if I wanted to, I could sleep. I rarely would do that. But if I really felt the need to because of something late night, whatever, and I still get up the same, I'll still get up the same time early, no matter how much sleep it is, I will get up the same time. So maybe it's recovery time. Maybe it's uh, time to do prospecting, time to make phone calls, time to work on the project, time to work on peak physique, time to work on private coaching, which is operate to dominate one-on-one private high performance accountability coaching. Maybe I'm working on that. There'll be time block for going for a walk with the family, time block for game boards for the, with the family. Time blocks for everything. And then you saw the white or grayish spaces in there. I'll even time block for the stupid shit that you know is going to come your way. Because if you're just every hour on the hour, one after the other, if something bleeds over into the next or one of those uh, fucking little fire comes along or you get some interruption, which you shouldn't allow to happen too often, but if an actual emergency comes around that throws you off schedule, you have that buffer time. So then get back to doing what you didn't complete in a different time. So yes, I'll put buffer time in there. Sometimes buffer time in between two major things. If I, if I was going to go teach a, like I'm teaching a boot camp class tonight live on Zoom for our members only. I'm teaching a boot camp, crazy 2021 cardio boot camp class tonight live. If I was doing that immediately right after this, I'd give a little buffer time in between to then prepare, mentally focus to go from this to go to teaching the class. A little time in between to hydrate, fuel up if I need to, stretch, focus, relax, meditate. End one task and start another. So there will be buffer time scheduled in there. There'll be stupid time scheduled in. That's where you could, with the kids usually, a lot of times it's just video games or maybe it's watching some stupid thing on Netflix. What was it yesterday? Stupid time was Cobra, Cobra Kai from Daniel-san. Daniel-san and Mr. Miyagi. Cobra Kai, the this, this season on Netflix. That was our stupid time yesterday. Schedule stupid time. Well, you don't have to, you're not going to think about work. You're not going to think about emails, you're not going to think about what you're stressing over, and you probably won't have to stress over anything if you time block correctly. Time block for your workouts. I'll even time block for my preparation for my workouts. I know I need to make my pre-workout, my post-workout, get them ready, make sure I'm fueled up the right way. That is all time block, everything. And you know what that does? It sounds like, oh my God, you're probably like, you're a fucking robot. How can you live like a robot? That's like a, a, a prisoner. Fuck no, that's freedom, motherfucker. That is freedom. Because I know now when I'm working on, say, writing an email for the project about the men's personal development program and how it's going to change men's lives and help them become an even better husband, an even better father, an even better leader, a better son, a better fucking human, a better man. I need to be 100% intentional. My trajectory needs to be laser beam focused on the project and and reaching out to the men who fucking need help. I can't be thinking about, oh, I need to get ready for my workout. Or I can't be thinking about, my kids are going to think I'm a loser because I don't spend any time with them. I know that I already have that stuff accounted for. I either have done it already that day or it's scheduled to do that day. And all the different aspects that I want to hit in my goals are scheduled throughout the day. There is a trajectory. Everything is on its own trajectory. So when I'm in that time block, when I'm in that time block for stupid time, I my trajectory could just be to a, be a stupid motherfucker, a brainless Fucking mind-eating zombie. Perfect. You could just veg out. You don't have to worry about anything. 
Because you know you've done your due diligence. You know you've had your discipline. And you've blocked everything out. I know I've already got my workout in. I know after this, I'm, after this stupid time, or after this recovery time, which I'm laser beam focused on, my trajectory is straight on that. I know right after that, that what I have scheduled, that then I, I get back onto switching state, switching my mental state to then get back onto the next task at hand and whatever it is, I can then laser beam focus on that stupid time, recovery time, time blocking, this shit makes you so much more effective and efficient at the shit you're doing. That's what it does. Because you don't think about anything else. Your trajectory is right at the fucking center of the target. Not scattered and all over the place. Turn off your fucking notifications on your phone. And listen, let me tell you, when it's kid time, stupid time can be... You can go on the phone and scroll the internet if you want to. You want to waste your stupid time doing that? That is stupid. Scrolling fucking Instagram. Looking at some, some I don't know, some bitches showing their ass or something on Instagram. Because that's what they do. Making duck lips and shit like that. But during kids time, like it has to be so laser beam focused on everything you're doing. The trajectory has to be straight forward. A fucking arrow directly into the center of the target. So like on kids time, for instance. I may be, may or may not be known to drop a few F-bombs here and there, not have the best language. And do I talk like that around my kids? Sometimes they hear it. They hear it all the time. They hear it every day. Oh my God, you're such a bad parent. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. But they won't say any of those words themselves. They know not to say those words. They know there's certain things not to emulate about their role model, about their hero, their dad. And that's the one of them. But during kid time, I pick up that phone during game board time. If I pick up that phone during reading time, if I pick up that phone, that my, means my trajectory has gone off. It has gone off, which you might be thinking, oh, but you need to pick it up because you might miss a call and you need that work-life balance. No, my trajectory has just fucking been derailed by picking up the phone. They have permission to say, daddy, put that shit down now. That's the only time they're allowed to curse is when something like that happens, when a distraction hits me during those types of times that are time blocked out because we have the trajectory to go straight forward into the fucking heart of it. You can go all out. Like, all. imagine if you could just have such straightforward laser beam focus on every single task you do, on the time you spend with your kids. It's actually time with your fucking kids. On time for board games, it's actually like engaged, like deep, immersive into the fucking board game. Not thinking about all the other shit you have to do. You don't have to think about it because it's been accounted for with your discipline, with your structure, with your time blocking. Think about that. It's a fucking freedom. Motherfucking freedom is what it is. And also imagine this. We're talking about laser beam focus, maximum effort in doing all these things. Imagine this. And, and this is going to be a little personal here for you. But think about how you, you're in search of money. You're a single guy. You're in search of getting a piece of ass all the time. Like, that's what you do. You're number one focusing, going. You're just like so looking at, like, that's what you're doing. You're watching your porn or whatever else you're doing, you're so obsessed with. Imagine if you took those same habits and same obsessiveness and put it towards each task the same way and took it off those, the stupid bullshit that you were doing and put it towards effective shit. You want to have lurf by work life balance. If you were able to take that same laser beam focus and trajectory straight onto the target. That same obsessiveness you put into all the stupid areas of your life. Obsessiveness about fucking the, the, the politics and arguing about fucking mass. If you were that obsessed with improving your career, if you were that obsessed with improving your fucking relationship with your kids, if you were that obsessed with your personal development, with your discipline, with your fitness, you would not need to be on the extremes. You would not need to be work-life balanced. You would have work-life fucking personal professional domination is what you would have in all areas of life. Because you'd be working an hour on something so focused, going so deep into it, attacking the fuck out of it with zero distractions. Discipline defeats distraction with zero distractions. You're going to get more done in an hour than you normally would do in a full day. When it comes to that particular task or business or whatever it is, you're going to get more, more fulfillment in an hour with your kids. That's just uninterrupted, distraction free, no fucking phones, no other bullshit than you would eight hours sitting around with them on the couch, acting like you're spending time with them while you're fucking twisting, flicking your fucking thumb on Twitter or whatever else. Think about that. It's the quality over the quantity. 
And if the trajectory and the quality is long enough, the quantity is going to be bunched in with them and you're going to have a shitload of quality and quantity going in the right direction. And it's all about keeping track of it, keeping score, making sure your trajectory is right. Keeping the score. Let me tell you this. This is not really have to do what we're doing. It just makes you think of it, keeping the score. Don't ever trust someone that doesn't want to keep the score. Because then you know they're half-assing it. They're fucking lying, cheating, stealing, bullshitting, doing the bare minimum. Don't ever trust someone that doesn't want to keep score. Doesn't want to talk about numbers. Doesn't want to report numbers. Doesn't want to talk about what they're doing. Doesn't want to, the ones that say, oh, I feel like I'm just being micromanaged. No, motherfucker, you're being held accountable for what you're supposed to be fucking doing. That's what you're doing. For results, for an outcome. Not for just keeping a chair warm. Listen, in your business, you're better off having an empty seat than having a, a pile of shit just warming up the seat for you and paying that pile of shit. That's all side and that's a side thing. We'll get into that another day. Anyway, you need to become so efficient, so efficient with this time blocking and discipline and structure and so efficient with this trajectory that we're talking about. Not fucking work life balance. Get so efficient with the trajectory that you have that you can then become inefficient. Say it again. Be so efficient with your trajectory and your focus and your intention and your, your awareness and, and your being so laser beam focused into each task. Be so efficient so that you can become inefficient. Think about that. Be so efficient so that you can become inefficient. And let me tell you, if you are not like married yet and don't have kids yet, and you're, and you are, have the fucking nerves to talk about work-life balance. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. The theme of 2021. Shut up. Like this is your time to fucking just explode, to get so much experience, to work, to hustle, to make money, to bust your ass. Work-life balance. You don't have any kids. Fucking work-life balance. Fucking middle of the line, average, mediocre. Fuck that. Fuck that. You're going to be the one that when you have the kids, because you're thinking about work-life balance before you have kids, once you have kids, you're going to be the one that's stuck in the middle and half-assing your career and half-assing your fucking kid time because you didn't take care of shit ahead of time. You didn't do your fucking due diligence because you were looking for the easy way out. You're looking for entitlement. You're looking for shit to get done for you. And that's a problem with a huge part and population in this fucking country right now. So how do you become more efficient? Well, we start with those time blocks. That's right there. Right there. What I just told you there and showed you on that, that, that tablet of mine literally can change your life. Like you don't know the weight it takes off your shoulders. Like going throughout the day, you're just high all fucking day. I've never done a drug in my life, but I'm fucking high all day. Thank God I never did a drug. Imagine me fucking co- all coked up. I don't even know what would happen. Who knows? Maybe I would calm down if I was got coked up. I should try it sometime. See if it calms me the fuck down. Anyway, become more efficient. By starting with those time blocks. How? How can we do that? I call it the five eights. The five eights. Check this out. The five eights. Create, delegate, automate, eliminate, and elevate. The five eights will make you efficient in everything you do. And now this is on top of the time blocking. Now to, and to make all these five things happen, you're going to need to actually time block these into your calendar, into your schedule. So I'll say them again. Create, delegate, automate, Eliminate and elevate the five eights to become more efficient. Now create. Stop consuming shit. Stop just watching shit. Stop scrolling shit. Fucking create shit. That's how you become more efficient. Create shit. Use your time to create shit. That's going to lead to an outcome. That's going to lead to money. How about that? Which is going to lead to more freedom, which is going to lead to being able to spend time with your kids, which is going to lead to fucking trajectory on both of those. It's going to lead to not your work-life balance. It's going to lead you to fucking dominate in your personal and professional life. Dominate. Fuck balance. You want control. You want intention. You want trajectory and you want to fucking dominate. So create. Start creating. Stop consuming shit. Then delegate. Things you're doing, you're probably doing so much shit you shouldn't be doing. Pay someone else to do it. Hire someone else to do it. Delegate it. You have a team. If you don't have a team, start building a fucking team. Delegate it. Certain things don't even need to be delegated. Don't need to be wasted time by a human. Automate some shit. How much shit you could automate you're probably doing by yourself you don't even know about? And we're talking about on on the personal side. I mean, on the professional side. Automate shit. 
But this also goes for the personal life and professional, mostly on the professional side. Then eliminate shit. Stop wasting your time on doing shit you shouldn't be doing. That doesn't even need to get fucking done. You just are doing it because your ego won't let go of it. Fucking eliminate shit. Eliminate tasks. Eliminate projects. Eliminate fucking people. How about that one? Eliminate fucking people. And then after that, elevate. Elevate yourself. Elevate your knowledge. Elevate your skills. Elevate your growth. And it has to go in that order. Create. Delegate, automate, eliminate, and elevate. And that's going to lead you to be having a lot less fucking stress. That combined with the time blocking, you're not going to, you're going to have a lot less stress. Stress is, how can we put it here? It's going to lead you to not have stress. It's going to lead you to having a lot of pressure. Pressure is good. If you're a fucking kick ass, high performing motherfucker like you should be and want to be, you should want pressure. Pressure is good. Pressure is pushing and pulling and working. Being under the gun, being under a deadline, having an urgency to complete tasks, pressure. The difference in stress. Stress is not having organization in your day, is not creating shit, is not delegating shit, is not automating shit, is not eliminating shit, it's not elevating shit. That's stress. Stress is a fucking whirlwind. Now, pressure is different than stress. Pressure is that is once you have all that stuff time blocked, once you've created shit, you've delegated, you've automated, you've eliminated, you've elevated, now the fucking pressure's on you to get an outcome, to perform. All that shit you've done, all the pieces you put into place, better start having an outcome. Better start making you more money on the professional side. Better start giving you more time with your kids on the personal side. That's some fucking pressure. That ain't stress, though. Big difference between stress and pressure. And then after all that, or during all that, Decide. Make another decision. You have the decision of discipline. The decision to shut the fuck up. Make the decision of what your theme for the year is going to be. Then decide to make this the healthiest year ever. The healthiest physical, the healthiest mental, the healthiest emotional fucking year ever. Because if you do what you should be doing for long enough, you'll be able to do whatever the fuck you want to do forever. I'm going to say it again. If you do what you should be doing for long enough, Eventually, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do forever. Forget balance. Balance is bullshit. You need work-life trajectory. Work-life will lead to work-life domination. You need trajectory and quality, not quantity. Do it for long enough, not thinking about balance, thinking about domination, and you will be dominating with quality and quantity in both personal Personal and professional. Discipline will defeat distraction. That's what you need to be thinking about. Let this shit sink in. Go re-listen to this. Play it in slow-mo if you have to because I'm talking fucking fast. You need to play it in half speed to hear what I'm saying. But you need to let this shit sink into your bones. Discipline will defeat distraction. Stop making freaking excuses. Shut up. Shut up or nut up or man up. Anyway, if you need help with any of this stuff, if you're one of those men who knows you need that boot in the ass to, to light that fire under yourself because you've lost a spark in life, the project might be for you if you're not a quitter. If you know you need to be an even better husband, even better father, the project might be for you. Let's talk about the project. If you are a business executive manager owner that needs help with your discipline and your energy and your confidence and you need someone to hold you accountable in your structure and in your work-life balance, and in your trajectory, and to keep you on target with your trajectory, and the quality of the work you're doing, and the scheduling, and the time block. If you need help with that, let's talk about one-on-one peak performance accountability coaching, so you can operate to dominate. And then, of course, if you need help with in the, on the fitness side, simple, you can get started at freaking today. I'm teaching a class here in about two hours. You can get started with live Zoom and live Facebook sessions, daily sessions, Sense your inbox, also live seven days a week with our virtual online training sessions, bootcamp and boxing. So send me a message, put your comments below. I want to hear what is your theme of the year going to be and tell me about how you deal with your work-life balance. And then let me know how it's all going. Let me know if you're watching this live or if you're watching this on the replay. Join the discussion down below. Make sure you like this video, share this video, leave a comment below. And stop making freaking excuses. Let's make shit happen. Stay on target with your trajectory. Fuck the work-life balance. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.